okay uh so hello guys uh in my previous video i was actually creating this yeah and i actually edited a few things i actually gave them a single name each like example it's now called zip not zip file and move not move file but nevertheless it's just the same and i made the quick if else statement like here's the if else statement and then the point of the if else statement and okay most like the most recommended way of writing an if else it's by putting the else here but it's okay even if you do like this because java it's actually uh, space insensitive it doesn't care about the space as long as you have put the syntax in the correct order it's fine it doesn't care but yeah and i like it just like this so yeah that's that it actually proves more readability for the user so yeah uh here's what happens i've created this function as called change and then this is what the function is it's actually on the spinner and set on change does change as its callback function and then the function itself what it has it has two parameters the first one is the items name which is item and then the other th the other parameter it's the index it's okay even if you leave it out it's fine because we're not using index we're actually using the items name so in this case we're now asking the every time when the the spinner changes the value ask we ask it like is that value or that i that name that name which i've selected is it equal to right and if it is equal to right do this which is here if it if it is equal to read do this if it is equal to exist do this if choose do this here yeah, you get the sense now so now let's now make something so in case somebody writes something what we're going to do now is that we're going to text we're going to get that text the text view right and then we're going to create this function which is write write file then write for fix text takes in the first parameter like which is the file where do you want the file to be so in this case we just make a simple we want it to okay let me make it more fancy we'll use this terminal dot get internal get internal storage or folder and then we'll append it you know how appending works but because this will look crafty so let me just save let me just call this one file i hope there's no file here okay we'll call this one file and we'll set file to um, yeah app dot get internal internal folder and then we'll append this and then we'll append this to okay append this to don't forget concatenation works with and get internal for the simply the sdk card of this of the assets of your file like the internal storage the name of your internal storage the root name of your internal storage where you can access it not the actual actual root like the root root folder no like when your phone is rooted not that folder but rather the the one that you can access face like for example where it shows your files like for example it shows music uh android uh, i don't know photos and other things that you save in your local storage so yeah in this case we just call this one right we'll call the file right dot txt and yeah we have appended it to that and then now we can now remove all this and then we can put file because that's the variable that's holding the that okay that's why we're saving it and then after that we can now uh, get the text and then we're getting the text from edit edit because we wrote something so we'll get it from edit right and then after that we'll okay uh the mode actually has got two parameters the first one is append append which means like we'll add extra characters to the already existing file or uh i i actually don't know how to pronounce this but i'll just call it a s c l l that's yeah uh, what that does that uh, it just creates a new writing which is okay and then the last part is the encoding um i'm sure you know what encoding is like uh this part this thing if you want to, yeah if you want you can put 16 which is kind of chinese you know i don't know but yeah you can read more on encoding just search for it on google or something like that. but nevertheless yeah this one is the most recommended because this is the readable text that we all know and love that you can actually see writing uh, whatever you wrote will actually be shown so yeah that's that so and then after this we can just ask okay firstly and then uh since we're creating a file known as write in the external storage so here's what we can do 
uh, we can try to check if that file actually exists dot file exists at face file exists because i don't want you guys i don't want us to go back and forth but yeah we can try to check and then we can use up the uh, file exist and then the file where it is in this case we just get file yeah i guess file was a great idea it was a very great idea and then you can now choose the choose file and up the choose file it's all by we can now choose the file up the choose file and then the message that should display it can just be like choose file choose file you don't actually have to write the same things because these things most of the things that actually in course that means you can change them so yeah choose file choose file is actually the message that display like here on choose file on the center of the screen there's choose file uh msg type for callback and i i, I think it's a direction also i never use this part but yeah uh the message and the type of file that we're choosing which is the mimi type uh we can just choose the text i guess and then text can choose everything that's in the text category and the co and then the the mm, the the callback function we can quite uh okay we'll quite choose because i'm out of beta name so yeah choose and we can now call choose outside everything again so function dot choose choose it to actually work what choose would do right is i choose to actually retain one parameter choose we retain one per, okay it has a parameter known as item like the item that's actually selected so yeah and in this case we just make a, a toast like a toast of it up dot hopefully this video isn't okay up dot show pop up and i'd recommend you guys like uh, the best way to learn these things is by practicing even though despite everything i'll teach at least just try to practice a few and reading the documentation in case you get lost to what i'm talking about just reading the documentation on the part that you didn't understand please uh that would yeah that would really be great so yeah that's that and i think that's all for now let's now try to test it out okay which part they miss oh yeah i was actually supposed to do this and the best practice uh, best practice that can do is that let's just put this outside the folder i don't want it to be within the if statement the yeah the file i don't want it to do that okay okay then we can just cut it after i cut it then we can now just paste it right over here yes okay oh and the way you paste right is that you see the same case right just double click it to bring this this the first one means select where you can select and the second one means uh select all in a way yeah so when you click this you can select everything and um, the third one is copy the other one is cut and the last one is paste so yeah that's how it is just double click it and it will bring the same issue double click it it will be toggling itself it will either come out or it will either go away if it's out so see an if statement already if it's out <laughs> all right so we get the file name and then the file name is the one that we're going to use to assign when you write when you write the function and then the text first the first thing is that we're going to save it somewhere and after we save it somewhere we're going to write it and write oh we're going to take we're going to get the file actually not from write but from edit because we don't have that we're going to get it from edit edit is simply what we will write here what we will write we're going to get there and then we're gonna save it in this file and then what we'll save it in this file the thing that we're gonna write and we'll make it a new file every time and then we're gonna make we, we're gonna give it an encoding of this and now we're gonna check if that file exists and then now later on we'll choose a file so let's try to run this okay so for now there, there's actually none so nothing will happen but let's just write something like i am a okay uh let's just try to check if actually the file exists so when you click on this oh i forgot to show something guys uh let's just toss this so that we know if it's true or false because it actually retains a boolean so okay an alert uh, an alert it's annoying so oh not an alert dot show pop show pop seriously uh Okay. 
kayak gini suara hard coding yang bikin shopo if if it exists it was true but if it doesn't exist it actually be like oh no that far doesn't exist bro doesn't exist so <laughs> that's a simple joke all right so now we can try not to run it and just try check oh, where did they actually assign this shop up is going to function oh, what did i actually do okay let me just write everything again ah the app dot oh it's actually pop up so not show sure pop actually it's pop up let me just retain it when does that just show here yeah, show pop i think it's show pop up or something like that. show pop up okay just be sure up the show the show pop up okay pop up is actually the app is actually in lowercase so yeah that's that so what's gonna do is that it's gonna return a boolean and we can try to run this and then since we haven't created any file known as right what we can do is that every time when you click on exist it actually be like false because that file doesn't exist so let's now try to write something so i am right get it right <laughs> okay uh so now let's now save it and in the moment you save it we have now saved right so now we can now return this back to none okay so now we, we're gonna again use that function that is known as exist and guess what happened that tells us true that file exists and now we can use now choose to check if that file actually exists for us for us because we cannot trust this but well come on machines don't lie <laughs> so now here's our file known as right here's file the moment you click on right it's actually gonna bring us the location of right so yeah that's that and then now and that's the reason why we choose file so file uh choose file it actually helps us bring that now let's now read that file and now we can now have this functionality known as um app dot read file read file and we're gonna read the file and then the file name is actually called file like this is where we saved it in the encoding i used we use the u utf it's actually the same when you think about utf8 and then you can just save the read in a variable known as read it can be any variable trust me any variable known as read and then we can now set you remember we wrote a text right this is now what we're gonna set to read we're gonna actually set its text to read to read at this because this video can take time let me just talk about other things like even copy so what you can do with copyright is that we're going to copy the same file to another location so in this case um what's for there i should have i think i have music okay let me try to check if i actually have music okay okay let's just try to read it right now let's just read it read now as you can see it's actually done with what no, it's not supposed to be an object. Okay, so let me just choose the file. That's what we're gonna use to move the file. We're gonna move it in downloads. Okay, I love downloads. So, so yeah, we're gonna move it in downloads. Then, what the heck is this? Seriously, the set text. No way. File. Okay, what's my file? Hmm, interesting. all right uh wait what okay okay it's fine it's fine i'll, I'll check out the correction later but for now please you guys can just check out the documentation on read i oh then the video has taken time again okay it seems like i've made an error yeah okay yeah uh, now i've seen my error uh well sorry about that you guys and uh yeah my error actually exists on this on the read on the read part of actually set it to function 
and they'll store it in a variable. We have stored it in a variable. Okay, I actually don't know why it's not working. Let's try to use the word box. Mm, interesting. Let's Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Read. Return object. Hmm. Okay, let's try to actually give it a name. So SD card forward slash SD card, which is just the same as internal storage, and we'll go and then we wrote it in right. Dot txt. Read, 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 read. It's an object. Hmm. Okay, on this one now, I actually don't know why it's not working. But yeah, let's not spend so much time in this one. I'm sorry, guys, I'll, I'll try to update my lesson later on on read and I actually find out what's wrong. Or maybe I've just made a mistake somewhere. I, I don't know I've made a mistake. I'm not sure, the but yeah. That's that. Okay, now we can now go now to copy, and then up dot copy. The copy what it does that just copies your file from one location to another, and in this case, our location is SD card, right? SD card forward slash SD card, which is the internal storage. SD card. Ah, uh, SD card. SD card, and then. In the SD card, um, mm, we're gonna have our file's name is actually right. The txt. We're gonna copy it first. The first one is the source, and then the last one is the destination, like where it's gonna go. So in this case, we're still gonna have SD card first slash SD card, SD card. And to show if the things are saved, just use the show pop up, which will actually help you. SD card. You know, gonna go into the downloads the link uh yeah into the downloads and then after the downloads we're gonna now save it in right dot txt same name just change the directory so yeah forward slash that 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 and then renaming okay i'll after i've copied it that's how i'll make it. and then renaming it's just the same rename rename uh the source uh, okay, in this case, SD card forward slash right dot txt. That's our that's our look that's our location. Then you naming you just use the same location but just change its name. So in this case, SD card. So writing, so writing like uh right to quite read, quite read the the txt, the txt that's how you now um what's this um rename it and then uh copying it's similar to okay you actually use the same syntax or what's this of rename that's how you move it actually rename 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 you just use the same syntax of rename to move it but rather just give it a different directory like though we did for copy in this and then in this case we're gonna move it where okay we'll try to move it to android because i can't think of another folder that i saved in there so yeah sd sd card forward slash rename okay forward slash is actually right dot txt and this time we are actually okay this time we're actually gonna move it in android so sd card sd card forward slash mm, android i don't know if android will permit this but yeah I mean, it's still a file in in the external storage so yeah and then we're gonna give it the same name right but instead of write because we we'll actually change it so let's quite read because we we'll, we we'll actually 
we name this to wheel later on so yeah we can just call the same name read dot txt and delete well we'll just call the delete function like delete dot file then it has a file parameter as yeah and then the follow in the parameter section the location which is delete and the location well if you remember we saved this in android so we still call the sd card sd card forward slash android dot or forward slash read call it read dot txt you can just use pop-ups to show if the message was successful or not then zip mm, i'm sure we copied one file to this directory the delete i mean the download so what we can do now is that we can now use the zip file zip file and zip file also takes in the source what's our source's name our source's name is forward slash oh first quotes or in quotes because we haven't given we haven't assigned them to variable so forward slash sd card forward slash then we save it in the downloads folder i think it's downloads right or download i think it's download yeah download and then we have a file known as write in the download folder because this is the same folder this is in this folder this is the one that we actually copied that we will copy eventually and then now close this then then now the way you do uh del i mean zip file right you just just give you the same same directory same directory sd card sd card download sd card download and then it's actually in the right right yes yeah right and then in this case we can just give it an extension of zip then it will zip itself yeah and that's how you write zipped files then the last one is now on zip and well and zip is something else we mm, okay unzip we use the same issue that unzip we use the same syntax to just unzip it in the same okay actually i uh, unzip it in the in our favorite folder which is the just in, get internal storage folder which is just sd card and then we have a file in the downloads folder known as downloads folder known as right 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 dot zip that's the file that you have and now we can just that we can just unzip it in forward slash sd card right. sd card and then unzipping it in and in, yeah and then i'm just gonna unzip it where Let's unzip it in our system download in Android. Yeah, I guess that's fine. And then the else part, well, not so much. It's fine. The else part is very fine. Okay. Uh, so everything apart from everything work apart from read for I actually don't know why it's not working. But and then let me just try to change this. Right, the txt initially it was supposed to work but okay let's just try to code everything let's decode let's decode uh forward slash sd card forward slash read the txt okay this is our yeah okay let's try it again let's try everything from the way it go i'm sure i've talked about the text now let's just write something like i am a text i am a text i am a text i love movies i love movies okay so now we can just save the file wait 
uh, 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 uh. What did I actually put? I didn't put any food in on the server. Right? Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then I will try to check if the same right uh, is actually a folder if it exists, and then tell us yes, it does exist. And let's try not to read it. It's still an object. Uh, okay, let me just show the pop up of it. Mm, I need. Up the show. Pop up. And then I can just remove this for some reason. I actually don't know why it's not working. I seriously do not know. Hmm. Okay, let's not try not to read it. Hopefully, it's still an object. Okay, on, on the read, I actually don't know. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. Because I followed the absolute path and I also encoded it in its format that was supposed to be encoded. But for some reason, it just ain't showing. I have no idea why. Don't know why. Hmm. Okay, let's try first to convert it to just... Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just write, I'll just send another video and write uh, when I find out what's wrong with it. Because initially it was supposed to be working. Okay, let's try to remove the encoding. Let's try to remove it. And also try to remove this encoding. And then so this, let's now use a pen. Pen. And then we'll write something like, I am a text. And then we'll now write it. After we write it, then now let's try to read it. Object, object. How? 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 Oh, yeah, I get. The reason why it's not working is because of the the right file i actually forgot to get the file i actually got the entire object which is the create edit uh instead which is the create test text edit instead of actually getting its text that's why it's not working ah ah sorry you guys for the delay but yeah ah it actually stressed me out but yeah let's not try it again and this time i'm not gonna use a pen because it just make things weird and dirty so let's just use this one ah I actually forgot you guys I completely forgot <laughs> like I actually have to get the text and that's one functionality I forgot and I was focusing on the wrong part which is the read the read was just fine and then we can also put the encoding to prove like this is just fine so the encoding was a uh, UTF UTF dash 8 so practically everything makes it just me who forgot the functionality of this and yeah, and then the encoding here it's also UTF, UTF 8, UTF 8, and then so using show pop up will actually do text dot set, Let's set text. Now everything will work as it is supposed to work from the way it go. We'll start again. So now I've made this application which actually saves, copies, deletes, formats, whatever. It does a lot of functionality. So we'll start. We write something like I am a text. I'm a text. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it using write. We have saved it. Now let's read it using read. Now when you read it here, it is I am a text. As you can see here, I am a text. Then let's change it to something else. Like maybe I am something. I'm something sweet. And please you guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe like and share because subscribe like and share and i use this encoding i can share because it's utf8 so i'm sure the emojis will actually work that 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 please you guys don't forget to subscribe please and now we're gonna again write it 
the moment you write it now we can now um, read it and yeah there it is <laughs> it actually looks weird because uh read actually has got another functionality but for now uh, i'll just let it be like let's just continue to work let's just keep it simple subscribe subscribe wow this video 30 minutes wow this video is long subscribe i'm gonna read it okay i mean write it then i'll read it and then the moment you read it's gonna be subscribed and now we're gonna copy it uh it's now copy to have copied it now let me show what it is when you choose and choose for uh we call you remember when you're copying it right we actually assigned it to be in the uh in the downloads then when we check in the downloads it's actually right down here that's right so i've copied it and then remember later on i actually also saved it i'll i'll rename it it's called right I'll, I'll rename it in android android has nothing so let's now go back and then after this we're now gonna move it uh we're gonna move well, which one is the best okay let's try to rename it and then after we rename it let's now go back and choose file so that you can see the rename now it's new name it's not now read it was right but now it's now read and then the after read we can now move it and then the move we're actually moving it in android we can now check the file's name uh, in android and then you see it was actually moved in android here it is read it was actually moved in android and then um uh, in the file itself it's actually not there anymore and then the other functionality that we created was mm, mm, okay since it's in android and then now let's delete it and then now check out the file if it still exists in in android android it's actually not there because we have now deleted it and then sorry you guys i'll be fast but i'll send the source code of this one so that you guys can work on it uh, and do what you think is right treat it rightly <laughs> and then now we're gonna try to zip it we'll zip uh we'll zip the one that was copied in what is in android i mean in downloads so let's now zip it and yeah it's now zip let's now use choose file to check it out zip mm, android 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 uh download as you can see it's now there's this one on a zip and that's the one now that that's zipped the right the zip zip and then later on i we created something else which is unzip and then unzipping it actually unzips all in the sd card in the sd card so we can now unzip it and then you check the right folder will go back to our new wait why did i actually save it i think i actually saved it and what i can't remember I, I saved that i can't remember but yeah the point is that everything now works as planned and thank you very much you guys for taking your time to watch this video i know it's very long but that's one in which we that's one in which you learn yeah, learning doesn't just come once like it doesn't isn't okay the best way to understand something is by constant repetition and also practicing you guys don't please don't forget to practice and uh, uh yeah hope you enjoy making your own uh dread script projects oh yeah oh yeah i know no what, what i mean why i went wrong okay it, i didn't actually save it i just put it in android in the extract for that it should be android okay let's try it again wait was that zip okay let's try to unzip it again then check it out okay i think it was an android I think that was our extract for that somewhere somewhere here but in the meantime yeah that's that you guys thank you very much though please practice and hopefully use you uh hopefully you ah, yeah don't forget to subscribe and i'll send the sd sd careful thank you very much you guys